Hello folks, uh, welcome to our learning uh, material, video-based learning material uh, that I will try to give you a brief information about the seventh chapter of our textbook named Technology and Innovation Management. The title of our chapter is The Social and Economic Dimensions of Innovation. Uh, before giving you the outline of the chapter, First, let me speak about what we are expecting you to learn at the end of this chapter. Here are the learning outcomes of our chapter. As you can see from the slide, at the end of this chapter, or let's say by studying the topics in this chapter, you will be able to explain the contribution of innovation activities to companies, society, and the economy. Indeed, uh, you will be able to define the innovation systems approach and the actors of the national innovation system. In addition to that, in this chapter, after completing this chapter, you will be able to define and exemplify, exemplify developments in Turkish national innovation system. These are the outline of our chapter so our chapter consists of three subsections the first subsection is about the social and economic dimensions of innovation and then we have our second chapter to which titled national innovation system and you will give uh, you will get this chapter, this subsection will give you detailed information about the innovation system approach and what we are aimed by or uh, by conducting a nation innovation system and at the end of the uh, at the end of our chapter uh, with the third subsection we will give you detailed information about Turkey's nation innovation system uh, let's say we will give you information about the development of Turkey's national innovation system, important actors, the structure of Turkish, Turkey's national innovation systems. And we have key terms here, uh, like innovation system, systems approach, national innovation system. Here in this chapter, we explain you in detail the meanings of these. These are all related with uh, knowledge creation, creating knowledge, and like the concepts know how, know what, know why. Our vision 2023 strategy, our country's vision 2023 strategies, for example. As you may know, uh, in September 2019, our Minister of Technology and Industry announced a new techn national technology move. Also, we explained this national technology move in detail in our chapters and also components of Turkey's national innovation systems like clusters, technology transfer offices, technoparks, centers of excellences, angel investors. These are all the key terms that you will uh, find in this chapter. Okay, let's start with our first subsection. Uh, the subsection titled the social and economic dimensions of innovation here the most important thing that we want to highlight is the importance of innovation in continuous economic development and growth for the economy so far while studying innovation you uh, have been mostly or morally focused on the positive benefits of innovation to companies to businesses but here, uh, what we would like to highlight, mention that innovation is also really important factor uh, of con continuous economic development and growth for the economy. Innovation is the main element of social progress and prosperity for society and a crucial aspect of competitive advantage and power of companies. In this chapter, you will find information about the positive contributions of innovation activities to society and the economy, uh, the benefits of innovation to companies, and also the different factors, the different factors that can prevent innovation 
activities. By other words, uh, here we we'll explain you the factors that hamper innovation activities. Okay, let's take a deeper look at these issues. For example, uh, the positive contributions of innovation on uh, to society and uh, the economy. Innovation increases the welfare, the overall welfare of the economy and society, uh, improve living standards in that economy, uh, increase foreign trade and uh, decrease the uh, foreign dependence of an economy. So I, I can I can increase this list, but you will you will find all this information in your subsection. Uh, for example, uh, the innovation also assists the uh, increase in region development in different regions of the country. This is one other factor. Okay, uh, since we have quite a short time and this video is supposed to be a summary video, I need to skip this the first subsection and now this is the title of our second subsection, National Innovation System. Uh, although there are many different definitions of national innovation system, here I prefer to use the name father's definition of the term. This is Freeman's uh, definition. He made this definition in 1987 and uh, somehow uh, uh, we can accept this as the you know starting point of this concept national innovation system and according to Freeman, the national innovation system is the network of organizations in the state and private sector that creates new practitioner science, transfers it from abroad, transforms and disseminates it through its works and mutual effects. When we look at the stakeholders of the national innovation system, these are, as you can see from the slide, from the screen, uh, state, businesses, universities and other research institutions, financial institutions, public, university, industry, cooperation. These are all stakeholders of the national innovation system. For example, uh, if, if to, to make it more solid, to make this uh, information more solid to you, in our country's national innovation system, among the institutions directly related to innovation, there are different types of institutions from the public and private sector. At the top of them, the Science, Technology and Innovation Policies Council under the Presidency of Strategy and Budget under the Presidency of Turkey, Ministry of Treasury and Finance, Ministry of National Education, Ministry of Trade, the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, this is Tübitak, uh, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Organization of Turkey, COSGAP, Turkish Patent and Trademark Office, Türk Patent, Council of Higher Education, Yerk. University and Technology Development Zones are example of these institutions. According to the OECD, the national innovation systems, the, the, the main actors of national innovation systems and their relations are as in this figure that you can see uh, on the screen. The uh, system's main actors are governments, universities, public research institutions, research and development institutions, firms, intermediary institutions, and uh, these are the main actors. And in addition to these main actors, a country's national innovation system has a mutual interaction with different structural elements, such as macroeconomic and regulatory context, communication infrastructure, factor market conditions, education and training system, macroeconomic product, market, macroeconomic product, market conditions. Even though all the actors presented in this figure are a, are a part of this system, this system has integrity. 
it should cooperate with all the necessary resources of the country and uh, therefore it includes other elements of the economy as you can see this national innovation system identify the national innovation capacity and it helps the country's performance i mean country's growth performance job creation performance competitiveness performance okay uh, let's briefly speak about the third subsection of our chapter this is turkey's national innovation system and i should say that you can find much more detailed information in the chapter by studying this chapter but if let me speak briefly about this subsection uh, the first critical stage in the development of size uh, sorry uh, the the turkey's national innovation system elements are grouped into three primary levels so so the by, by first i mean that at the top of the system uh, in this concept in under the, the if, if we group this into three primary levels uh, the republic of the presidents of turkey the grand national assembly of turkey and ministries are located on the top of the turkish national system the minister of industry and technology which established in 2011 is an important institution within turkey's national innovation system that supports the unity of industry and technology in the country institutions such as the turkish academy of sciences tuba uh, tubitak the scientific and technological research council of turkey COSCEP, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Organization of Turkey, Turk Patent, Turkish Patent and Trademark Office are all affiliated with the Ministry of Industry and Technology and with the related institutions. Okay, uh, after the ministries, uh, the second step stage, there are affiliated, related and associated institutions and agencies of the ministries. Examples of these institutions are TIBITAC, COSCEP, uh, Presidency of Defense Industries under the Presidency of Turkey, Council of Higher Education, Turk Patent, Turkish Standards Institutions, Development Agencies and Development, Development Administrations. And at the lowest level of the system, some institutions act as interfaces among the companies that personally carry out research and development activities. We can show technology development zones, private sector research and development and design centers, technology transfer offices, technology centers, and incubation centers as examples of institutions at this level. In your chapter, uh, you can find the detailed information about the development of Turkey's, uh, Turkey's national innovation system. And the first critical stage in development of Turkey's national innovation system, uh, the development of science and technology policies in Turkey is the foundation of the state planning organization. Uh, and the approaches develop within the framework of the five-year development plans. Uh, this was this goes back to the 1960s, but here, uh, due to time limit, I will only speak about the last strategy plan of Turkey's, which is uh, Turkey's 2023 Industry and Technology Strategy. This is based on national technology, national strong and the strong industry. Uh, the Minister of Industry and Technology, Mustafa Varag, announced this plan on September 23, 2019, 2019. Uh, this plan had been prepared with the vision of national technology strong industry and the strategy document this strategy document consists of five main components these are high technology and innovation digital transformation and industry movement entrepreneurship human capital and infrastructure and finally 
components which depend on the structure to improve the innovation ecosystem in Turkey are as follows. These are universities, technology development zones, technology transfer offices, centers of excellence, angel investors, and venture capital organizations. More information, the definitions, the numbers in Turkey, all these informations, you know, uh, are in your chapter. I would like to uh, thank for your uh, attention. Uh, you can find, as I said, more detailed information about all the topics I tried to explain you in this video and even more in your chapter. I wish you a good luck uh, in your studies.